Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Tuachila <laughs> Tuka <laughs> Alabakala Mirisha and Gamma, Lucio Mutemu, Kawenu, at the two for Bushika, Lavakala Mirisha, Tamashi Kelelo. Once I'm Sango Shani, Valiquata, Makari Mutako, and the Mount Papa to put you over PF Valley, Valley Kumananga, Nukuchiro, and if you see Nishi Chapum to Chatampo Tunta Kale. Allah, I'm a Kalamba Valley, Baka, Pakaluimbo. I took a take him to a man. What take him by much of you? Bamana Matata, Bamana Matata, and I look at a papa, and we love to buy a kettle with some ballet, the pie, Padia. I to one of the tennis, what rest in a pie. Bamana Matata, I'm sorry, I'm ten days to know someone else and the party. 
so much. Uh, what you are seeing here is the leadership of the Patriotic Front. We are led by the Secretary Gen uh, Deputy Secretary General, Honorable Nixon Chilango. You can see Honorable Mukiri, Honorable Van Nungure, and Honorable Dr. Gambi, Honorable Mwamba, and others uh, who had come and decided to leave. Number one, we want to make it very clear that as PF, we are very disappointed by the actions taken and the involvement in, in a private family matter by the state. Because today we should have been commemorating one year of the death of Tutu Angulube and unveiling the tombstone. Tutu Angulube had two professions. He was a lawyer and he was a politician. The whole country knows that Tutu Angulube was PF. He was a senior member of the Patriotic Front, a member of the Central Committee, deputy chairperson for Ligo. So he wasn't just a small member of the PF, he was actually a, a, a factor in PF. So we came in numbers to come and commemorate this day. And from, I think, yesterday, those of us who have been in Kabwe have seen how statement machinery has been abused in trying to ensure that the PF doesn't participate in this event. So we want to send a strong message that we are not going to sit back and receive, receive slaps uh, on our faces from the, the, the UPND and from the state. That we are not going to, to, to accept. We are going to come back on a day that will be set by the family for the memorial very soon. If it will be tomorrow, we will come back tomorrow because we want to tell the country uh, and also remember our friend for the ideologies that we believed in. If Tutu are here today, I think you would not allow this nonsense that has happened to, to take place. Uh, uh, and so it's a call up on all of us to say, can we stop this dictatorship that we are seeing? Today, Cabo was an epicenter of dictatorship. How would you send all those battalions of policemen to come and harass us? Are we criminals? No, not, is it a crime to belong to the PF or to belong to a political party? No, no, no. So colleagues, let's stay calm. My message to uh, uh, our members in central province in Kawe and those uh, friends of Tutua who would have wanted to be, be, come and be part of this event, stay calm. I think we are going to make an announcement. Uh, the family will advise at the right time when we are going to come back. Imagine they even went to the gravesite to go and chase people who had mounted tents there. I think it's tomorrow, it's not right. Uh, so allow me to uh, maybe ask uh, Honorable Mungwe to say a few words uh, before I uh, ask Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Chair. Uh, countrymen and women, uh, what we are experiencing is uh, the diminishing democratic space, the violation of human rights, the violation of fundamental rights that are enshrined in our constitution. Uh, you can imagine that uh, it is so bad in this country that the state prevailed on the family to cancel a memorial service, all because they are scared of patriotic front party. Honorable Tutu Angulube was a very senior member of the party. He was a member of Central Committee. Uh, he also uh, rendered legal services to the party as a result of his commitment to the service of this country and the party. Tutua had a lot of friends. We saw that uh, when we were putting him to rest, the entire car came to standstill. And today, uh, the UPND government knew that Kawe will indeed come to a standstill as we commemorate his uh, uh, one-year uh, memorial service. Yeah, so where we are, where we stand now, uh, we are in a country that does not respect rights of citizens that are enshrined under part three of this constitution. We are in a country now where you can't move freely. We are in a country where you can't assemble freely. That even funerals, memorial services are interfered with. It's very unfortunate. Uh, very uh, a, a few weeks ago, uh, President Akainde Ichilema was uh, uh, giving out 156 vehicles under CDF to police officers. Little did we know that uh, these will be vehicles and tools that will be used to frustrate uh, the citizens' freedoms. Yes. Yes. All the constituencies of uh, the central, central province, province contributed the CDF to come and frustrate the memorial service. I want to send this timely warning to Minister of Local Government.
from Porokoso, let this be the last time you are deducting money to buy a vehicle only to come and use it uh, you know, to frustrate rights of citizens. Allow the CDF committees and world development committees to elect how to use that money. They deducted money from uh, constituencies to buy vehicles and made everybody believe that they wanted to make the police services efficient, not knowing those were tools of oppression. There's money from CDF that bought the vehicles are now being used as tools of oppression. Mm. Yeah, so I think uh, the countrymen and women, you have all seen what we've always talked about. We are happy that civil society, uh, the churches, have, have are all uh, awakened into this reality that uh, we are led by a dictator and we are led by a government that will not allow you to uh, associate freely as it were. But the last message is, is to the uh, members of the Patriotic Front Party, we are going to put on our armor mm, yes, yes. and fight for the democracy that we fought for. Mm. We are going to fight to defend our democracy. Yes, yes, there is yes. no amount of intimidation that will make us cow down because this is a constitutional democracy. Yes, yes. We demand that our democracy and our freedoms continue to subsist. Yes, yes. I thank you. Uh, thank, thank you very much, especially for the women. For me, I would say I'm a very sad mother because I considered um, Tutu Angulove to be my son. That's how he was known to everybody. He was my son. And if you all know very well, when he died, I was still in incarceration in Mongo. And he came to see me two weeks just before he passed away. So today was supposed to be a day when I was supposed to go and see where he has been laid to rest. But just to be faced with this. And my question to the UPND, because whatever they do, the yardstick to them is the PF. When Samansama was killed with a bullet, they said Eddie Galungu has killed in Samansama. Did anybody see Eddie Galungu at Freedom Park where that is Samansama, the prosecutor was killed? The answer is no. So since it's the yardstick, today I'm asking them, when did you see the patriotic front stopping any mourners to mourn according to their tradition? From time immemorial, we don't interfere with family programs. Are we going to see a situation where even when our children want to get married, they will be giving us debts unless we go and get uh, permission? If it's Wungunga, Tureshan, we have to go and get permission. Yes. It's really a shame. And when the other people call that they shrink in democracy, this is exactly what it means. As a mother, I'm very sad. And I'm telling, I'm calling upon all the women of Zambia, let's stand up and speak with so many voices because we are the ones who look after these men. Some of them, like this government, which is led by my son-in-law, Hakainde Ichilema, which is intimidating everybody. When we rise up, they will know that women have risen and they will speak with one voice. Why should they tell us, like in Kwate Chiniro, at Indea Mukushikat, don't go and bury, we will tell you then. Are they going to provide minimum? Are they going to give us food to feed the people? In this scenario, are they going to fund back the money which was used by Tutu's family to prepare? Because they had already Prepared. Thank you. I just want to thank all party organs and everybody who made their way to, to cover today to come and uh, be part and parcel of the celebration of Honorable Tutu and Guruva's life. Unfortunately, my colleagues have spoken and they've spoken big. I just want to to appeal to all Zambians. Today, it is Tutu and Guruva's memorial which has been cancelled by the state. Tomorrow, it will be somebody else's funeral which will be cancelled. The next day, it will be somebody else's wedding which will be cancelled. If we do not make a stop to this, all of us collectively, today they are targeting PF. Tomorrow they will target you. Tomorrow they will target your church. They will stop at nothing because these people are living on borrowed time. And when you are living on borrowed time, you are bound to do anything. So I want to appeal to our members, those who came from far and wide, 
to say we are going to come back here to hold a, to hold the memorial for Honorable Tutu Angulue. And what I also want to emphasize here is that President Edgar Lungu also come. He will be here. So I needed to hear of the date that he, that they are going to set for the memorial. The entire Kabwe must come and welcome President Edgar Lungu to Kabwe and the Central Province. All ranks and files must now come because today we were a small group. Uh, President Edgar Lungu did not travel. Uh, Vice President did not travel. He delegated to those of us who are here. But I'm um, I'm appealing to all members that next time President Edgar Lungu will come. Let's celebrate his life. Let's bring Kabwe to a standstill. Let's bring Central Province to a standstill because PF is PF and there's nothing anybody can do about it. So we thank you colleagues and may God bless you and may God bless Zambia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.